Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Mac DIY. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my office makeover tour. I've been posting little snippets here and there on Instagram and you guys said you were interested in seeing it, so that's what I'm gonna show you today. So when I'm talking office, this is not just my office. So if you have a small space, don't think that you can't do the same thing that I did. The room that I'm using is actually a guest room. It's a hangout room. It's an office. It's where I ship my dresses out for my Amazon business. If you're interested about the dresses for my Amazon business, I'll put a link in the description box so you can check those out as well. So when you first walk into this room, the first thing you see is our bed slash day bed. And I decided that I wanted this room to be a guest room, but I also wanted it to have a couch. So this was the best option for us. I found this day bed off of Amazon. I'll link everything I'm talking about that I have a link to, I'll put it down in the description box for you. But it's essentially a twin size bed. It has a back, it's, we just bought a twin mattress for it, put some sheets, some white bedding. These are Euro shams that I picked up at Home Goods, and it works great. So if we have guests, they can sleep on this bed. And it also works for a couch, so my kids can come in here, hang out. It just works out really well. Okay, so, off of the side of the bed, I have two closets, and these are great. I store um, a bunch of my dresses in here so that when it's time to ship, I can pull those out. My husband has storage in this closet, so it works out well. This is a wall hanging that I made in a Dollar Tree DIY video, so I'll link that below if you want for interest in that. This little nightstand right here I got from my grandmother. I painted it white, and I changed, uh, yes, Actually, no, I don't think I changed out the handles. I think I just painted them black. This is a thrifted lamp that I painted in Annie Sloan duck egg blue. And then this right here is just a planter that I made last year in a trash to treasure. I'll link that. So then underneath our day bed, I wanted to put a little bit on the floor. This rug I recently picked up at Ikea for $20. Thought that was a great deal. And it's out right now, so you should be able to find it. This basket I've had for several years. I wanna say it's originally from Home Goods. I made this little blanket with the pom-poms on it um, in a video last year. And this is just a little white pillow that I have. So I just like to keep a little bit of something out. Above this day bed, I have this Good Vibes poster. I made that. Uh, this is actually fabric behind here and I did like a little iron on and I think it's really cute and it's a good little saying for an office area. Now I'm going to show you the actual office area. Okay, so this is the area where the actual office part is. So right here is the edge of my day bed. And then all across here, you have my husband's setup. And then over here, this is my setup. So I'm gonna show you what we did because it was super inexpensive. So originally in this room, my husband just had a little desk. I didn't have a workspace at all. So I talked to him and I said, what if we just did a really long, workspace, I think it would work out the best. So what we did was we purchased these gray shelves and drawer units and the shelving units I got at Ikea and I will link them below because I don't remember the exact name of them, but they're like a light gray color. So we got the shelf and then on the two ends, we got this like drawer system. And as you can see, I haven't really labeled them yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I think they look cute how they are. So there's a drawer on that side and a drawer on that side. So after we got the shelf and the drawer system from Ikea, I needed to come up with a countertop next. And I looked at several options in the end. I realized that a lot of the options were really expensive. I wanted to get like a butcher block and that was like hundreds of dollars and I thought that's not gonna work. So I went to my favorite store, the ReStore, and I found two closet doors that were $2 each and they didn't fit perfectly. My husband had to cut them on either end, but in the end, they were like the best option. $4 for this countertop. There is a seam right here, but that doesn't bother us because both of our workspaces are, you know, there's no seams on it, it looks nice. 
there was some dings in it. I just used some Vintage Effects Wash by Decor Art, and I just painted on them, wiped that off, one coat, and that's all I did to them. So I'm super happy with them. Later, if we want to add countertops, we can, but I mean, this isn't like our kitchen or anything like that. So it was like the perfect solution. So on the walls, my husband has like this crazy monitor system. So we just let him do that over here. We don't mess with that. This TV was here before, so we're not taking it down. I don't like sit right here and watch it. That'd be a little too much. But uh, this TV's here, so if you're sitting on the couch, you can watch the TV, and sometimes my husband will pull it out. And then these chairs, I love these chairs. I got these off of Wayfair, and I wanted white. Um, I just thought it was really cute. These are super comfy. I'll link to these if you're interested. I am a little worried about them getting, um, looking a little dingy because they are white, so. I don't know, we'll see how they go. But I just wanted a nice comfy chair and these are really comfy. One of my favorite things to put on my walls is definitely pictures of our family. I just, they make me happy and I love having them all around the house. So what I did to do some inexpensive pictures was I ordered them from my favorite company for pictures, which is MPIX. It's mpix.com. And the reason I like it is because they're inexpensive and they also have really good quality pictures. I never have a problem with it and they usually ship within a couple of days. So over by my husband's desk, I decided to get some black and white pictures. These frames I got, they're, these are 11 by 14. I got six of them in a pack off of Amazon. I'll link that below. And they're just some fun pictures of us traveling over here. Okay, so I'm most excited about my area over here. I've been using this so much. It's so nice to have my own little workspace. I love it. So over here, I have my laptop. I did a Dollar Tree office DIY video, so I show you how I made these, these, and I have these little cute little binder clips that I made. They're so adorable. So I'll link that video below if you're interested in watching that. This is just a plant from Ikea. I buy all of my plants at Ikea. They last, they're inexpensive. I love buying them there. So I have that. Um, my laptop, this is a little coaster. It's a marble coaster that I got thrifting. And then the TV. And then my favorite thing over here is this gallery wall that I put together. So I'm working on my gallery wall and wanna show you what I have picked out and put together. So I always start out by ordering my pictures. So I figure out what sizes of prints that I wanna get. And then once I determine that, then I will either use frames that I already have or I'll go and pick them up. So I'm gonna be using these 11 by 14 frames. These I actually got on Amazon. I needed six of this size. So I'll link below to the ones that I picked up from Amazon. And then I use, I'm using this five by seven frame from Ikea. This was like $3. This 12 by 12 frame is from Hobby Lobby and it was $10. And then this 11 by 17, cause I needed kind of a weird size. Um, ended up getting this one for $9. I'm also going to be adding this clock into my gallery wall, which I picked up at Walmart. So the other exciting thing that I wanted to add to the gallery wall was my YouTube play button that I got whenever my channel hit 100,000 subscribers, which was almost 100,000 subscribers ago. So I really want to hang this on my wall. I'm really proud of it. Um, so that's going to be part of my gallery wall right next to where I work. I love pictures at the beach and I love pictures of my girls. So these are a couple of pictures that I took when we were on our beach vacation this last year. This was just a picture of me and my husband from my phone. So sitting out on my desk, I love to have pretty decor and flowers and plants. So these are really pretty. These are from JCPenney and I love these. These flowers are so amazing. They're from a company called Rose Forever and they can last like over a year and they're real roses. They're so pretty. I will link below in the description and I also have a coupon code for these if you're interested in getting them. 
And then of course, my Bath and Body Works candles. What I do is I just turn the little label around so you can't see it. This one is a lavender one and it smells so good. These are probably my favorite candles. So we also need this office to be functional, so I needed some kind of storage. So I moved this eight compartment Ikea shelf that I have. I have these all over my house. I have the four ones in my daughter's rooms. I just love these, they're perfect. You can buy these baskets at Ikea and they're perfect for putting, you know, just different things in. So we have our printer, these baskets store, um, you know, a lot of my husband's books and things. Down here, I have printer paper, and then I also have my shipping supplies, so it's got like my labels, um, my scale that I weigh everything on. So I keep all of that in, in there. Up top, this was a trash to treasure project that I did probably in the fall, I'm thinking. So my husband, he hunts arrowheads, and so we have these up here because this is a joint office. It's actually kind of like a hodgepodge, anything goes room, um, but that's okay. I love how it serves so many functions and I hope that it gives you guys inspiration to realize that, you know, if you just have a small corner in your house, you can turn it into the space that you need it to be. So I hope that I was able to give you some great ideas that you could incorporate in your house. You know, I wanted to show you that it's not this beautiful, gorgeous office space with this huge room. I wanted to show you how it actually functioned in my home as a guest room and a multi-purpose room. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. I post three DIYs each week. And if you missed our last video, I'll link it here for you. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.